Okay guys, once you have uh, got your um, flow chart done, you're going to open up PowerPoint. And I typically go with a blank presentation, but if you want, choose one of these uh, different styles here. And again, if you don't like it, we can always go back and change it. So, I've already started. And so what I'm going to do is it's uh, a day at the park. So what you're going to do is you're going to start to need some of your different slides here. Okay? And so, uh, basically each slide is going to be one of those bubbles that you created on your uh, flowchart. So for example, when Kimmy woke up, she wasn't sure where she wanted to do, what she wanted to do, so help her decide. So she go from kitchen for breakfast, go out for breakfast, or skip breakfast altogether. So if she goes out to breakfast, what happens when she, the player clicks on that button, it's going to take them to slide 3. If they click on this button, it's going to take them to slide 4. If they click on this button, it's going to take them to slide 5. So just to show you what you have to actually do, right? So uh, what should you have for breakfast? So what I want to do is I want to make a button. And uh, so I'm going to go to insert, or it's actually even under your home. So you can click there. And I choose this button right here, this little action button. You can also go to insert and under shapes. There they are as well. Okay. And there's your button. So I'm going to make a button here. And so when that happens, I want them to hyperlink to and slide. Now I don't have the slide ready yet, so that's why it's a good idea to almost get all your slides set up before you do this. So basically start going through your flowchart. It doesn't have to be in order. Start going through your flowchart and making your slides for each kind of room that uh, you've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of this for the time being. And I'm going to make a new slide here. So basically what I do is I've been duplicating, so I right click and I duplicate the slide. And so, let's say this here, what a great breakfast, what should we do next? Okay. So. In here, she's had some breakfast. So now I want to make that button like we just talked about. So I'm going to draw my button. And then I want to hyperlink that button to a particular slide and that slide that we just made. Okay. Do I want to play sound? Sure. Um, I'm going to play the whoosh. And I'm going to show this other sound here in a little bit. Whoosh. Okay. And then I notice there's no text here, but I can put text in there. So I'll right click on that button. And I'll edit text. So then I'm going to take this and I'm going to copy it. See a little line show up, so that means it's perfectly in the center. And then I'm going to paste another one and I'm going to line them up. And what's really cool is if you watch, see how I get those red arrows at the bottom? So that means the space between here and here is exactly the same. So I'm going to take this one, I'm going to edit this text. inside there I can just edit the text this way okay okay so I can make each of these buttons go to slide six which they already do so if I right click on that I can um, Make sure you're on the border of the button. Right click, and then I can edit the hyperlink. Right, so it's going to slide six. Again, okay. choose the border and edit hyperlink. Again, okay. it's going to slide six, and same with this one here. So they're all going to slide six with the whoosh. 
So I'll just show you how it starts. So I'll start here. So I'm just going to do a little test. Here. So where does she want to go? Well, she wants to go to the kitchen for breakfast. Okay. What should, can we have for breakfast? Well, I want to have a bowl of cereal. Okay. Well, what a great breakfast. What should, can we do next? So then I keep going on and on and on and on. Okay. So that's how you can start to add some of the different uh, buttons in there. You don't have to use those buttons. You can actually, I'll go to a blank slide here. If you want, you can choose one of your buttons up here. Just like that. And you can hyperlink those just like we've done before. Place within this document. You can choose which actual slide you want. Just like you can with um, the button. Just makes it a little easier with the button. Okay, hope that helps. So make up one slide for each of your little um, cars or bu bubbles inside your flowchart. And then you want to start having your buttons taking you to those particular slides. Okay, good job folks.